construct your own simultaneous equation. They give you a problem. They told you that there's a rectangle. This side is 3x minus 2y, this side is 7. This, the breadth is 3x, uh, is x plus y, the breadth is also 4. How do you construct your equation? Okay, so over here, what Lisa uh, nicely did was x plus y equals to 4, 3x minus 2y equals to 7. Where does this understanding come from? Diana, where does this understanding come from? This is correct. Or where did this idea come from? This is from 3x minus Yeah, how do you know how do you know this is equal to this? How do you know? Because this is a what shape? What shape is this? A rectangle. rectangle. This is a rectangle, right? This is a rectangle, right? For a rectangle, right, the opposite two sides must be the same. Same length, the breadth must also okay. be the same. Okay, so from okay. here, so look at what she did. Ah, huh? from equation one, she times three, comma. Okay, so x times three is three x, y times three is three y, equals to four times three is twelve. Then from here, she's uh, same sign. She did subtraction. Same subtract. Diana Tonga. So she subtract equation three minus equation two. So she may pay attention to the bracket here. The bracket must exist. Okay, then minus uh, uh, kai minus times 3x is minus 3x minus and minus 2y is plus 2y. This is where your weakness is. Be careful. Okay, tidy it up, y equals to 1. Then after that, you plug in x equals to 3. Is that okay? Okay, thank you. Okay, so now, right, uh, I have already gone through the session on how to solve simultaneous equation using substitution method. So what I want to do is I want to raise the level of difficulty, raise the notch, just turn a little bit up on it, a little bit up by teaching you how to construct your own simultaneous equation. Because in exam, right, paper paper two especially, especially paper two. Okay, in exams, uh, uh, or N level exam, O level exams, there may be situations whereby you are required paper one or paper two, whereby they make you create your own equations. Then how what happens? Okay, this is a a uh, simultaneous equation in problem solving. Okay, watch now. Uh, I'll show you how this is done. Uh, page 97 of the textbook. So if you're at home, turn to the textbook, page 97. Okay, question 2. Over here, question 2 says the sum of two numbers. Shame look here, so now the sum of two numbers is 138. The difference of the two numbers is 88. Wait a minute, we better circle up keyword first because some of us sum. Don't know. Sum. What does sum mean, Diana? Plus. Plus. Difference. Ellie means what? Minus. Minus. Uh, that means minus. <laughs> Over here, so uh, uh, minus. So the sum of two numbers is 138. The difference between the two numbers is 88. So what you need to do is we have to first define what are the two numbers. So let the First number, let the bigger number, okay? Let the bigger number be x. Is that okay? If the bigger number is x, therefore the smaller number is what? Be what? Y. Y. Okay? Bigger number be x, smaller number be y. Okay, let's try now. Over here, this means x plus y is equal to what? Everybody? 138. 138. Very good. Thank you. So far, so good. Difference of the two number. Okay, before you go to toilet, tell me first. What is this? Difference of two numbers is 88. What is this? Is Form the second equation, huh? Difference between uh, the is two numbers. X minus is very X good. Minus X minus what? Y. Equals to what? Equals to 8. Very good, very good. Okay, okay. Yeah. go, go. Okay, take the pass and go. Okay, I need to ask Sarah. Why not y minus x equals to 8? Why x minus y and not y minus x? Very good. That's called difference. Right? Always take the bigger number minus smaller number. For example, I'm 42 years old. Kim is uh, 15 years old. What is the difference in our age? Will you take 15 minus 42 or 42 minus 15? Oh, no. Very good. Okay? 20, uh, how, how much is that? I don't, know. Uh, don't want to know. Lah. Like we are so far apart. Like that. Okay? But the key thing what I'm trying to teach you is you always take the bigger number minus smaller number when it comes to uh, difference. That's the reason why I wrote x minus y. Okay, so now very quickly I want you to try to solve this by yourself using substitution method. Not elimination, substitution. Okay, everybody try now. Okay, over here right, I got Sarah to show us how to solve this using uh, substitution method. And then at the same time, Ellie solve this using elimination method. We put them side by side 
and then let users decide which method is better. Over here, right, for substitution method, look at what uh, Sarah did. She chose, okay? She chose from equation 2, because she recognized that x is positive, right? x minus y. She brought the minus y to the right hand side, so 88 plus y. Uh, from 1, sorry, from equation 2, she formed 3, 3 sub equals 1. So, this is the equation 1, x plus y equals 138. Instead of writing x, instead of writing x, x is equal to so 88 plus y so she replaced x with 88 plus y and then she just solved an equation after that sub into equation uh, 3 so equation 3 is over here so x equals to 88 plus instead of y she wrote 25 x equals to 113 okay not difficult once you get this answer right always remember in exam you to always sub it back and check 113 plus 15 it is really equals 138. Double check. 113 minus 50. It is really equals 88. So you know you are surely correct. Okay. So that method is demonstrated by Sarah. So what did Ellie do? Over here, Ellie tried to solve the same thing by using elimination method. The technique is different, but the answer must be the same. Equation 1 minus equation 2, she attempted to get rid of variable x. Okay. Then she'll have 2y equals to 50. Solve for y. After that, she'll solve for x. Same answer. Perfect. But given a choice, I asked the class, which method will you choose? If there's no, if there's no like, I insist that you use some method, you can use any method you want. Which method will you choose? Everybody. Yeah. Okay, you can choose in media. Why make that so easy? Substitution. Then Sarah, you go ahead and use substitution. Okay, important thing is get the answer. Everybody okay? Okay, now I will try.